gentlemen of the reviewing officer, the special guest of honor and reviewing officer for today's historic occasion, His Excellency President Ashua. That's the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Bola Ahmed, and he was just having a great fall on Democracy Day. He was climbing the stage and he fell off the stage. Today is Democracy Day. I don't even know what we celebrated in May 29. We are celebrating another Democracy Day today and it seems that Bola Mehtinibu, democracy is rejecting him. Why I sympathize with him over his fall, I want to also remind him that that is how the economy has fallen under his administration. I want to let him know that that is how the living standard of the people has gone so low. People can barely eat. Anyway, sympathize with him and I also urge him to take that man to the hospital. Bola Metinibu is not fit. He has been struggling to appear fit all this while. I mean, you cannot compare Bola Metinibu to Mr. Peter Ruby. <laughs> Again, something just happened, and that is the fact that a large portrait of Bola Metinibu was unveiled on Democracy Day. I don't understand. Today is June 12th. They are celebrating Abiola. Shouldn't they have unveiled the portrait of Abiola? Why are they unveiling the portrait of Bola Metinibu? You see, this is how dictatorships start when one man wants everything to be revolved around him. Remember when he went to the National Assembly and they sang the national anthem for him? Now they are unveiling a portrait of him on Democracy Day, the day that they are celebrating Abiola, rather than unveiling the portrait of Abiola. Is this not something is wrong somewhere? And I think people should stop Bola Metinibu because Bola Metinibu is going too far to ensure that everything about Nigeria revolves around him. And I want you to watch the video. The 2024 Democracy Day celebration. Once again, it's the largest portrait ever painted, never seen anywhere in the world. Thank you. Next will be the advancing and review order by the parade. Parade Commander, sir. Unveiling the portrait of Bola Metinibu does not mean he's been accepted. He should go and take care of himself. Falling off that staircase means he is not fit. Look at this like to be climbing the staircase. Anyway, that's by the way, Nigerians from all over the country they took to the street on Democracy Day and they are protesting against Bola Metinibu seriously. They are saying they are tired of this government, they are hungry. Before we used to talk about three square me, but now Nigerians can't even afford one square me. There's hunger everywhere, there's insecurity everywhere. The purchasing power of the people has been greatly reduced, and they are protesting against Bola Metinibu, saying, We reject you, you are not our president. And these are the videos across the country. <laughs>
So the Lagos protesters are now decided that they are not having this protest anytime soon. On to the national coordinator of Take It Back movements that was kidnapped last night is being released.
So these are the activities marking democracy. The DSS and the police, they've tried to stop this protest. Whatever you are watching in Eagle Square is not what is happening in the country. This is what is happening in the country. Nigerians are protesting. Nigerians are reacting angrily against the presidency of Bola Tinubu. He has gone to Eagle Square to unveil a portrait of himself. I don't know what he's trying to prove. You are not being accepted in Nigeria. Nigerians do not accept you. You cannot impoverish the people and you expect them to accept you. You cannot make the people to go hungry and you, and you, and you expect them to accept you what you're supposed to unveil today is the portrait of abiola not your portrait this is how a dictatorship starts and nigerians are resisting it. they are coming out in the numbers and it's high time the government come out and identify the issues and resolve the issues that nigerians are complaining because ever since this government came on board nigerians have been complaining seriously the government of apc they've simply reduced nigerians to poppers nigerians have been relegated in their own country you are celebrating democracy day what is democracy day by the way democracy is the representation of the people by the government the government of the people for the people and by the people the government that is being voted in by the people can we all say with all honesty that this government was voted in by the people can we all say with all honesty that this government is a representation of the people what we are seeing in nigeria today is not democracy what we are seeing in nigeria today is government of the elite by the elite and for the elite is government of the highest bidder once you have the watches once you have the purchasing power you can purchase the INEC you can purchase the judiciary what we have in Nigeria today is not the National Assembly it is the National Assembly that is loyal to the president rather than being loyal to the people you are celebrating democracy day but you are proposing 60,000 naira that is $40 for the minimum wage of the civil servant whereas in the 1980s we were getting 208 dollars for the minimum wage can you see the sharp decline you are proposing that for the civil servant whereas the national assembly members you are buying a hundred and one 162 million worth of suv for them they cut home millions every month the judiciary is earning millions but nigerians cannot afford to feed themselves you are budgeting five billion for presidential yacht you are budgeting 90 billion for pilgrimage but 15 trillion for a coastal road project but you are saying that if you pay the people that are working themselves out to make this money above 100,000 naira that they are going to destroy the economy whereas your activity your financial recklessness is showing that you're already destroying the economy because the Nigeria economy has been destroyed already because of the attitude and the administration of the government in power so what are you celebrating democracy day for there is nothing to celebrate. Give Nigerians food. Make Nigerians comfortable. Nigerians are not even asking enough. All they want is to be comfortable in their own land so they can work and thrive in their own land. So what happened in the Eagle Square is a clear representation of what we are experiencing in the country. Nigerians reject the president. Democracy is rejecting the president. There is no amount of gaslighting or propaganda that can change that. Give Nigerians what they want. Give them real representation of democracy. If you don't, these people will come after you. And it is already boring. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.